Judges, chapter 10. After Abimelech, there arose to save Israel Tola, the son of Poa, son of Dodo, a man of Issachar. And he lived at Shamar in the hill country of Ephraim. And he judged Israel for 23 years. Then he died and was buried at Shamir. After him arose Jair, the Galilite, who judged Israel for 22 years. And he had 30 sons who rode on 30 donkeys and they were 30 cities they had 30 cities called Havat Jair to this day which are in the land of Gilead and Jair died and was buried in Camon for people of Israel the people of Israel um, again did what was evil in the sight of the Lord and served the Baals and the Ashtaroth the gods of Syria the gods of Sidon the gods of Moab the gods of the Ammonites and the gods of the Philistines, and they forsook the Lord and did not serve him. So the anger of the Lord was kindled against Israel, and he sold them into the hand of the Philistines and into the hand of the Ammonites, and they crushed and oppressed the people of Israel that year. For eighteen years they oppressed all the people of Israel who were beyond the Jordan in the land of the Amorites, which is in Gilead. And the Amorites crossed the Jordan to fight against fight also against Judah and against Benjamin and against the house of Ephraim, so that Israel was severely distressed. And the people of Israel cried out to the Lord, saying, We have sinned against you because we have forsaken our God and have served the Baals. And the Lord said to the people of Israel, Did I not serve you from the Egyptians and from the Amorites? Save you, me from the Egyptians, from the Amorites, from the Amorites and from the Philistines. The Sardinians also and the Amalekites and the Moanites oppressed you and you cried out to me and I saved you out of their hand you yet you have forsaken me and served other gods therefore I will save you no more go and cry to the gods whom you have chosen let them save you in the name of your distress and the people of Israel said to the Lord we have sinned do to us whatever seems good to you only please deliver us this day so they put away the foreign gods from among them and served the Lord and he became impatient over the ministry of Israel then the Ammonites were called to arms and they encamped in Gilead and the people of Israel came together and they encamped at Mizpah and the people the leaders of Gilead said to one another who is the man who will begin to fight against the Ammonites he shall be head over all the inhabitants of Gilead.